Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to talk about transforming our anger. I remember when I was incarcerated, I knew that, you know, something seriously was wrong here. Yeah. Getting in trouble. Total insanity. Doing things I knew I never said I would do. But because I allowed myself to cross a I just went boundary, this. continuous downfall, man, like a, a snowball rolling down a hill and just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And before you know it, it just goes through everything and crushes it and destroys it. And that was me, man. And I didn't realize I was making decisions and doing things out of anger. You know, incarceration allowed me to be able to take that time and really study that. I call it the predator's mindset. Is that vicious, angry human being who has moved beyond the original causes of why they're so angry and because they never had a chance to deal with things that are like Right there are those hidden motives that make them feel angry and frustrated and want to destroy. I know I never dealt with any of those subject matters. So as they continue to build up with new anger, frustration, and disappointment, and martial arts, we talk about the yin and the yang, the positives and the negatives. And in each one, there is, in the positive, there's some negative. And in the negative, there's some positive. And when we think about, you know, anger, which is the opposite of desire, desire is something that we feel in our gut, in our heart, in our soul, that we want to strive for something that's motivating us, that we allow ourselves to begin to, you know, visually display in our minds and on paper, and it becomes a goal, it becomes a part of our mission, and it becomes a part of our you know, commitment, and we strive to make those things that were motivated from our internal creative desires from a higher power, we allow ourselves the opportunity to pursue those things. And when we see ourselves being disappointed in the process or beat down or humiliated in the process of truly trying to fulfill our human desires from within, when those disappointments and those letdowns or setbacks happen, we begin to target at people and places and things that we believe are a hindrance to us being able to truly pursue those desires. And anger comes out, man. And when the anger comes out, the anger just increases and increases because it was never expressed or shown how to be expressed or it was it's something that you, su you should suppress. Because there's not many things around us that allow us to be able to truly express that anger. It builds up and it builds up. And then one day it explodes. And it destroys empires, worlds, and people. Kids picking up guns, blowing each other brains out. Well, I know that it's the whole purpose of the title predator. A predator is that type of person. One who just is so angry, just believed that the world and gave him a bad hand or gave her a bad hand. They didn't see so many things, and at some point in time in their life, when they tried so hard to, like, do right or do better, there was always something else that came that, you know, purposely hindered their growth. They knew it was all about faith. They know all those things. But somewhere at some point in their life, they just decided to say, forget it. I don't care what you do. This is how I'm going out, and I'm going to be a criminal, and I'm going to be whatever. And you know what? I'm going to live with all the consequences because when I die, I'm going to die giving it everything that I got. To me, that was what I was studying in jail because that was me. That's how I felt. I was so angry from so many things, so much, man. That's kind of like why I said, can I'm about no martial arts, can I'm about all these set values and principles. I was angry. I wanted to destroy something. I wanted to break up, beat up do whatever I could to crush things. But I knew at that level of consciousness that was being revealed that that's not who I really wanted to be. 
you know, from the first time of being bullied as a little child, man, and just running home crying and, you know, being told, no, suck it up, be a man, go back out and fight or whatever it may be. You'll see once, you'll read about it once again in my book. I continue to suppress that stuff, man. And when I finally got the courage to go out and do something with the people that was cool and down and doing the crimes, I was at a point of no return. I would not go back. I thank God today that I'm alive. I mean, the man I see today is truly remarkable from the man I used to be back in the day when I was living with so much anger. And by taking that time to truly study me and pray and analyze and visualize and meditate and surrender and truly let go of all that anger, I was able to become the man that I am today and become so loving. You know, I, I realized that it's important to deal with anger. You know, in jail, all my spirits, I say, when I came home, I just took all the negative, and I, all the Redirect. urban spirit is, is, is just taking and redirecting that anger and frustration and aligning it with something positive and loving and peaceful and righteous and then allowing yourself to explode forward like a napalm bomb and blow up anything in your way for the sake of building up other people's lives. That's what I did. That's what I learned how to do. You know, and, and you got to protect any and everything that comes around you from that. And that's what I did. You know, understanding this concept and understanding oneself is not about being perfect. And even understanding this concept of anger, it's about knowing that, okay, I used to fall down before and I never got up. I held on to what I loved it. I used to, I always talk about the street combat when... It was time to do something. I put the Herman survivors on, and that was it, man. It was war. Wasn't no coming back. I was proud. I was excited. I was ready. I was going to do what I needed to do to pursue that expression of anger by destroying and beating down what was ever in my way. Even in competition, when I came home from jail, man, I had to stop sparring because that anger was coming out in sports karate. So I had to do forms. I had to do Tai Chi. I had to learn to master my anger. I had to learn to write. And that's what my autobiography is all about. I had to learn to write to get this stuff out and realize that it wasn't nobody else's fault for what had happened to me in my life. It was mine. So the person I really need to be angry with was me, the one who used his God-given strength and talent for the wrong reason, the one who reacted rather than respond to all the negative criticism and things that might have happened to him in his life. The one who continued to blame the world and blame family members and people for what he went through. The one that did not realize a whole lot, man, nobody has the power to make me feel bad. I guess the real realization was when all those goals began to manifest and that old little saying where it's like, man, I want to get to Hollywood. Once I get there, it's going to be okay. Man, well, guess what? I got to Hollywood. I got through the door. And you know what? Wasn't nobody knocking the door down. Wasn't a lot of all that false conception of all these people coming and all these things happened. Didn't work. It was all those things that through my anger that I blame other people for that I now had to do. See, Back then when I was unconscious and I was just getting so angry, I didn't realize that the opportunities was right there. But through surrender, through commitment, through loyalty, through love, through sacrifice, through honesty, through open-mindedness, through willingness, through faith, through all those things, I had to be able to stay within the heat, goodness, and positivity and build it up and allow it to, to go and grow and grow. Because think about it, when you get mad, you get upset, you get angry, it just like, hmm, 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 hmm. And for one minute, you can't even stop it. It's almost like when you engage in an intense argument or whatever, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And the only thing that's left is for it to explode. And when you walk away from it, you feel so, ah, and it takes a while for you to get, get together. Think about that energy, think about that power that has. Imagine turning it around to something positive. 